Alrighty, welcome back. We got Jolene's car pushed out. We did the reveal. Uh, Jolene did not like where the paint pulled off with the tape, and we pulled it off, so I went around with the sponge brush and did what we said we would do. If you have any problems, just touch it up. And I went around and touched it all up, so now it looks fantastic again. I'm excited to put the car in back of the truck. So basically what's gonna go on in this video, I must say Jolene looks amazing today. Jolene looks amazing today. What's gonna to go on in this video is I'm gonna pull the truck around. I'm gonna to try to get it lined up. I have to, uh, I had a lot of suggestions about maybe making a pin go down in the ramp um, before the car goes up on. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna to have to put a pin in the ramp before the car goes on, but I'm gonna plan on pulling the car on the back of the truck for the very first time. And um, I'm a bit nervous, a bit excited and happy to have it maybe go on the back to see what it looks like. Basically, um, we've made this, or you know, me and Julie have made this like a, a fun project. And it has been a fun project with the brushes and the paint and, and doing the paint scheme and making the truck the way it looks, but it's time to move on. Uh, we've, we're very close to starting the 48 Pontiac. So I'm gonna go around and get the truck, get it backed up in place, try to get it as straight as possible because it has to go on straight. I, I found a strap that we can put around the front end to hook onto. Um, <clears throat> do you like, I like the, wheel, the way the wheels look with the black paint. I think they look fantastic with a little bit of satin black on them. They look like brand new tires without even a spanking. But Jolene spanked them because we seen the smoke coming off them, didn't we baby? All right, so let's do this. Let's, I got a little bit to do, but we're gonna load the car on for the very first time. I have to go get the truck and uh, we'll, we're gonna load it on. Are you nervous, honey? Oh, you're getting in, are you? All right. Got to watch the, watch the stuff there. I think I'm going to have to, uh, I'm not going to be able to make the corner go right around the shop. It's going to pull her ahead and then, uh, You'll have to forgive me, I'm not used to driving a big truck around, but um, when you're driving a big truck, you have to pay attention. There's a lot at the back there that can, can go wrong. Had a, had a nice phone call, or I phoned Archie, the guy we bought the truck from, and he was telling me about shifting the truck, and uh, we'll get onto it. Not a problem, we'll get onto it. Only baby. Oh yeah. So we've got, And I said that, and did you hear that? <laughs> That's all right, though. We're gonna go for it, man. We're gonna go for it. I got a bunch of different things going on. How about you, sweetheart? Nervous? I'm not, I'm not, um, what can I say? I am not ecstatic about the ramps. I'm, I'm just I'm just not sure about the ramps and I'm not sure how I want to go in there either I want to back in that way I might as well just not sure about the ramps I got the trusses for the building there they're doing a good job on that I'm gonna to try to get this truck lined up as straight as possible and that will be the best for the best load possible is to get this truck as straight as possible. Give me 40 acres and I'll turn this truck around. Come on, baby. Ooh. Not much room, is there? Huh? She says I look good, boys. I mean, I mean, I'm doing good. <laughs> Just get her straightened away the best we can. Now, if we were at the track, I, I'm thinking that we would both be help loading. So we'll try to camera a little bit and get me to help a little bit if you can, sweetie pie. 
just make sure I'm going straight and all that jazz the very first time. So we just had a good day at the racetrack, now we gotta load the car, basically. Let's just leave it there for now. I'm gonna shut it off and uh, we're gonna go back and see what happens. I've got to cut the ramps off because I wanna pin them before we take it up on. The removable uh, wheel wells are coming out. Now I'm just gonna pull these down for a second. These, uh, when, when we bought these, these ramps, uh, they, they said, or the ramp said, uh, they were capable of 1,250 pounds for two ramps, 1,250 pounds. I'm thinking that that engine and the front end of that car, because it's only going up on the front, the back of it's going to be back there, is not 1,250 pounds. That's what I'm thinking. If I have to, I will put a lag underneath there or something. We'll see what goes on. But I've got to do something first. I've got to cut them ramps off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them off. And then I'm gonna put a pin, I'm gonna drill a hole in them. So we've got that much, too much. So we'll just... How much do we wanna cut them off? We wanna go along there and cut them off? So we got this distance right here is basically the distance that we have before it hits. So basically I'll just go along there and cut that off. Uh, there's a little more distance here, we'll probably right around in the middle here somewhere. I'm just gonna cut them off so you come all the way up. Then we'll drill a hole in that and we'll put a pin down through it. We'll do both of them. We'll do one at a time. I'm gonna take my time, sort of. Sort of. It's hard to believe, but is that going to hold 1,250 pounds? We will soon tell. We will soon know for sure. And basically, we want to get this done before, you know, winter's coming here. We want to get it done. Baby, do you love me? Look at that fit, would you? Huh? Hickory dickory. Hey, I love it. We're going to take a marker where we're going to drill a hole. We'll do it in the center. Um, I'm going to cut the other one off first. So we're going to do the exact same thing with that one. With that being shorter, you think it would be stronger? Just take it in. Take it in, I guess. Center, I guess. Somewhere like that. Might as well drill our hole right now. 
Should have left that ramp in here, but I had to check and see what it looked like. Hmm. Guess that's good enough, I'm guessing. Probably good enough. Let's take a look at this one here. Yeah, and we'll drill a hole down in behind that. Looks good. Alrighty, what has to happen is, um, I have to drill a hole on the back of the truck to put a pin down in, and I um, should have to, should measure. Just push the car back a little bit. Get it neutral. Alrighty. So the car. Let's let's just. I just want to show you. I got a bug on my forehead. I just wanted to show you the measurement I went by, so we both know, and uh, we know what's going on. Man, that's one good looking race car, sweetheart. That's a good paint scheme you come up with. Huh? And it was all dictated by the color of the inside of the truck. So, I'm on the outside of the wheel. Five feet. <laughs> Maybe a little better than five feet. So, uh, we're six feet wide. So I'm just going to put that down on the outside of that. Right there should be six feet. We're six feet on the out, on the from the exhaust pipe for the six feet right on. So five feet. We have six inches on either side. We just kind of uh, now. I'm saying right about there would be good. So we'll go. Um, let's do this. Uh, six inches. We want two inches on the outside. We'll do. Let's put it right there. Three inches from the outside edge. So that gives us three inches. The wheel will be in here, so we'll be uh, six inches. So tire should be right in the center. That should be good. So we're going to drill a hole right there and put a pin in that. And we'll do three inches from the other side. So we'll be... Alright. So let me figure this out for a second. Uh, we're three inches from the edge of the ramp. Six inches we have, so that's where the tire starts. We're going to have a... That should be good. Should be good. Let's do it one more time. So the outside of the tire should be here. Tires how wide? Seven. So the inside of the tires. Let's bring it over to four. Let's do that. Let's do four inch from there. Let's get the other ramp. So what I'm going to do, for, I'm just going to stick a bolt down in there for now. And uh, I'm hoping that'll stay. Four inch. Exact same as the other side. Now, I'm 
hoping that me sticking a bolt down in there should be fine and not bolting. I probably could drill a bolt and pin it right down through, but I'll get a long enough sucker that, that uh, we have no issues. I'm hoping. So, we get some run to the wall if I don't watch it. We'll just check and see. That should be fine. Good. Probably a two incher. Goes down in there. Alrighty. Got the ramps cut off. Never pulled a truck onto a onto a ramp, onto a truck before, never done that before, never used a wench before. So this is my first. I am a virgin, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Now. Just trying to line her up here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off the, I'm hoping I'm going to pull the, the, the car on. I have got no chucks at the front to stop it from hitting the front of the truck. But what I'm hoping is the back wheels are going to be back here. So it's always going to have that weight coming back, I'm thinking. But I'm going to pull off the wheel, um, the wheel houses. So this is what I would do at, after every event, I would take the wheel houses off. I would set them aside and we're going to run over top. The only thing I'm, I'm concerned about, I don't want the tire to come down and hit our braces or our, our places where we clamp on for the wheelhouse. I don't want to bend them up because I start bending them up, then it's an issue, right? Because I have to fix it every time and we don't want that. We want to run it right, right on, perfect. Uh, try the best we can, do the best we can. Leave each wheelhouse on each side of the truck. I'm hoping that it can stay there. Now, I have a strap there. Uh, when, when I did this, Wally showed me before, you can turn this winch. You all right, Spear? I can disengage that and pull that out. So, um, this is the very first time, so if anything goes wrong, keep in mind, keep in mind, just like when we pulled the, the old Winnebago home, if something goes wrong, then we fix it. And uh, that's how you learn. You learn by doing the deed. Alrighty, I gotta put that back engaged. The truck is in park, so I'm hoping that that stays in place. Uh, the battery, um, I'm hoping that has enough juice. Then ramps move when I step on them. I hope I'm not 600 pounds, but all right. I'm gonna start pulling it on. So I would stand here, I guess. We're gonna try this bad boy. Let's do it. Now, See the ramps are bending like kind of got a little tension to them now i just want to look and see if the wheels are this is the very first time so i'm not just going to go crazy i want to go over that way a little bit just a little bit um i wonder if i should put a block underneath that just maybe even a jack stand just so it goes on you know what i mean but do you want to try the ramps with it'd be nice to see if they work wouldn't it all right, see if they work or see if they fail, I guess. Jolene making the call. How's the wheel look on that side? So we're going good then. Well, I'll, I'll say they're, they're bending, but they haven't, they haven't let go yet. I'm, I got the front end on there. Just take a look. I'm gonna take a look on this side. Take a look on that side. 
All right, we're just gonna turn it just a little tiny bit. Just a little bit. I think we're closer on that side. What's it? I just wanna take a look for myself. I know that you know, but I just wanna take a look for myself. Okay, enough? We'll try that for now. Now. Just want to take a look. Just to make sure. I don't want anything going wrong. We're close on the ramps on this side. Looks straight on that side, doesn't it? Huh? Look pretty good? Alrighty, let's do it again. Alrighty, there's the first hurrah. Just gonna take a look. Gonna go that way a little bit. Or maybe I should get up over and then go that way a little bit. What do you think? Probably. We're, I know we're close on that side. But that back end I want over, right? So we'll just keep going, I think, with where we're, where we're going. Any close on that side? You want to just let me know? Yeah, I see that. I, want, I think I want to get over that way a little bit. Okay, so we'll just let it keep going that that on that direction okay and then we can get the, maybe get the ass end over there so it's going to actually probably roll down here quite quick in a second but it's going to stop because the weight should be good Alrighty. nothing got bent nothing got hit and to load something it's not a race i'm just trying to get it on there so it's it's not a race, just trying to get it on there, so I'm happy. I think that we're going to come ahead because it looks good. I'm just going to go back and look at it. Just go back and look. I can't, I, I can't ask for no more than that. I'm going to pull it on a little bit further. I don't think the car is going to roll ahead too far on me because it's on the tail now. The ramps did the job. The ramps did the job. We're just going to pull it ahead. I'm going to bring the wheels up to the back or just take it up the front as far as I think that um, it's necessary, I guess. Before we would want to. I'm liking it right there, I think. And the reason I'm liking it there, good and straight, awesome, 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 awesome. Turn this this way a little bit. Hey. What? What happened to your mic? Mic come off? Nope, mic didn't come off. Still on. Can you hear me? No. Can you hear me now? Maybe it's me. Shouldn't unplug that. No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right, we're good. We're back on air. We are on air. So I am going to, I think I'm going to bring up just a little bit further to the back wheel onto that metal piece. And then uh, that's it right there. That's it. We're all the way on. We're loaded. We are loaded. So when, uh, when, we, when we let the car off, the car should roll off, or I should be able to let it off with the winch because of the fact that the tire is down on the beaver tail itself, so it should roll off. 
we're going to have to make a place for the for the ramps to be on or to be carried i can slide them up underneath the car i didn't know if i was going to be able to get them up underneath there or not but let's put the the wheel arches back on the wheel has the dog house or whatever you want to call it the wheel well uh, let's do it worked out well didn't know didn't know if the frame is going to be in the way I did not know so as you're watching you get to see it work put the other side put the other one on we're gonna to have to take the time and figure out where uh, where the hold downs are going so I'm gonna want hold downs up the front man I likey. I likey. Looks good. I'm just going to pull this back and then Jolene will do a walk around and we'll do a talkie boat at it again like we always do. Just kind of explaining things or what we think or whatever. What went well, what didn't go well, what went perfect. <laughs> I don't even think that affected the, the, the ride height of that truck or nah, made it run even actually. So we got the wheelhouses on, we've got the car loaded on. Basically Jolene would be ready to go to the races and uh, we need the lettering done. We need the lettering done. We need to put the hold downs to strap the car down. It's not completed yet because we have to get them strapped to strap that car down. We can't run it just, just holding on to that. It would never, never uh, make me satisfied something could happen but basically uh, the ramps worked well done princess auto well done you said it worked it, and, and and i said it would work too and it's on there but uh Jolene's car is loaded we are coming home from the races this is this is just i'm just pretending um she done a great job and we would come home happy and uh, love each other but what you see right there um is a 60 probably a 60 day build probably a 30 days on the on the race car and 30 days on the truck itself so we probably got a couple months in that and uh, what a great thing you could do cheaply if you wanted to if you wanted to build something like that uh, let's face it then big trucks like that are not not big money if you if you find something like we found the race car like I said before find an old flathead doesn't matter if it's a six cylinder eight cylinder four cylinder what it is make something out of it have a little fun with it make something like that and you could have something to be proud of and i'm going to say something if you show up at a car show like that do you think it would matter if the paint was perfect to me to me it would not i think it would make people come to take a look at it what's going on here what is this um, you could have a, a a five hundred thousand dollar car sitting beside it and i guarantee you they will stop and come over and take a look at it and the reason being is because they've never seen it before and it's and it's a lot of fun you can look at that and say wow look at look at that would you um, they've got a race car on the back of a truck it goes together the paint scheme goes together i'm proud of it jolene should be proud of it i'm happy that you all watched we're going on to the next project and uh I hope inspire you to build something like it. You do not need hundreds of thousands of dollars to make yourself happy. You do not. I guarantee it. We take that to a car show, there will be people all over it, and there will be people asking questions, and you will have a lot of fun. Not that I'm into that, but you'll have a lot of fun. Um, have a good day, everybody. Like, subscribe, ring my bell, comment, share, have a great day.